Well, as you guys can see, I am obviously ice fishing today. We are at some lakes I actually haven't been to probably since I was like 16. Kind of a funny story, last time I was here, I had my John boat, as you guys saw in the original AFO videos, and uh, the first lake that we put in, there's a whole bunch of lakes around here, the first lake we put into, I forgot the plug and about drowned my friend that was in the boat. Uh, but this is a place that I've kind of fished since I was a kid. So I haven't been here in about three or four years though. Out here with Ethan, and we are gonna try to catch, what do you say, there's trout in here? Trout? Trout, bass, panfish probably. Just a little bit of everything. We're gonna do some, some lake hopping though. Should be kind of interesting. I went ice fishing yesterday, and today we were actually supposed to go to a lake called Wanhu, in which that lake has pike, which is what I kind of like wanted to go for until when I got home yesterday, I realized two people fell through two days in a row. So instead of being like one rod and falling through the ice, we decided to go here. So I don't know how good it's gonna be. No idea, I'm sure we'll, I'm sure we'll find some fish. We've got some minnows, some wax worms. We're gonna set up some tip ups. I haven't caught trout through the ice in a couple years either. So that's, that's kind of a fun thing to do, but I'm gonna quit talking and start fishing. So I'm gonna start off here setting up a few tip ups like I did in my last video. If you didn't see my last video, it was pretty sick. We caught some big bass and some big gills. I'll link it down below. But I'm gonna set up some tip ups. One tip though, if you guys don't have like a deeper to uh, see how deep it is, normally when you're fishing tip ups, you usually fish them right off the bottom like six inches. You can take these, they make these little weights. This one's pink. You just kind of drop it all the way down. Let it take all that line out. Then once all the line's out, you pull it kind of tight. And you come up about up to the top there, which is about six inches. Then you tie your little loop. And there, now you know how deep how deep you need to drop that minnow without having a, an actual deeper depth finder or something like that. So right now I am letting down my jig. I'm throwing, throwing, I'm jigging a wax worm. Uh, normally my go-to trout bait is like a salmon egg or some corn. I don't have either one of those today, so I'm gonna stick with the, uh, the old wax. We've got five, I believe, five tip-ups out with some minners on it going after bass. Um, but I'm gonna see if I can catch some panfish or trout. I want you guys to comment down below a target species that you want me to go after. Um, basically your options are bass, panfish, uh, northern pike, trout, uh, and then if you want me to travel I can go catch like, I don't even know, salmon or trout, like big brown trout. Um, other things, perch maybe, walleye. You guys let me know. Let me know what you guys want to want to see because I'm, I'm sure catching bass and bluegill in every ice fishing video is not gonna be that entertaining. So comment down below right now what, what target species you want me to go after as far as ice fishing goes. Cause I'm gonna try to crank out a handful of more ice fishing videos before before the season ends, uh, before I head south, head down to Texas and to go to try to catch some Mondo largemouth. All right, time to catch some fish. Oh, I got a fish, eat it, eat it. No games today, come on. I got him, oh. Oh, I'm not losing this guy. Get up here. Son? Bluegill master. Oh, we got a double. Uh-oh. Things are heating up here. Wow. Look at that. We, you got me beat a little bit. Really? Yeah, you got me beat a little bit. They're twins. Yep, we're slaying, we're slaying the gills. Not sure if if this is all we're gonna catch on this little 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 spot here, but it is kind of fun. It's like fishing, it's like a video game. Like you see them on the little screen. Drop your little jig down there and you catch them. Just, just little guppies. Hey buddy. So as you guys can see there at like 10, 9, 10 feet, that's my jig. That's kind of going up and down. You guys can see there. So what you want to look for is you want to look for something just like that. That's like identical. That is, uh, see those little lines coming down? Those, those are fish swimming out a little bit away from me. You want to see another one of those lines right next to your jig and then it'll kind of turn orange and then red. And that's when you know that there's a, there's a fish fish sitting on your jig there you go you guys see how it's turning red now it should uh it should be a fish yep got him i got him well i can't really reel but i got him oh i got a trout really? yeah okay yep he's all tangled up but i got a trout there we go that's the first first trout so as you guys can see there first first beautiful rainbow trout right there we're catching some gills catching some trout having fun there we go there's a fish come on take it you gotta take it though boy no games I just saw one come up on the screen. Take it, there he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, he's gonna eat it too. I can tell, he's gonna eat it, he's hungry. He's gonna, he's about to munch it. There's a couple of them now, they're fighting over it. They're fighting over it. There he is, there he is. Got him, got him, oh! Ooh, what is this, what is this? It's a feisty little guy, oh yeah. Yep, 
toads for days today, boy. There you go, buddy. Well, so far this has been Dink Fest 2017. No biggins, one trout. But we might we might have to hit up another another lake or some ponds to get to get the mondos to bite today. I think we're just we're just gonna be catching the, the little babies so far. Well, folks, we are leaving the first lake. We are gonna go grab some snacks. I'm pretty excited. And then we're gonna go to another pond, hopefully for bass. You guys know I'm a bass fishing person. I like to catch bass. So I've caught some trout, some panfish. We're gonna we're gonna set up on another pond and see if we can catch some bass on some tip ups, some minnows. Should be fun. Oh my truck, so muddy. What do you think about this second spot? Think it's the juice? Yeah. Yeah. You confident it's the juice? You don't sound very confident. Oh, uh, you know, we're gonna whack them. We're gonna whack them. All right. Whack well, so we we're at the new spot and we're about to walk down and as you guys can see. Nice open water for us to ice fish on. I didn't bring any of my normal bass gear, so that's not gonna work. We're gonna try the other side that has ice on it. So, it may be interesting. We may fall through. I don't know. Let's hope not. I got one. Oh, he came off. I had one. I think they're just gills, though. I'll say that, and it's going to make a six-pound bass. There, I got another bite. Take it this time, buddy. Yeah, I got him. I got him. Come on. What are you? Oh! We're on the gill fest again. There we go. We're eating good tonight, boys. Well, we pulled into the, the new spot, drilled a bunch of holes, set up a bunch of tip-ups, and then started jigging around this tree, hoping there would be largemouth hiding in the tree. And of course, we got little panfish. I know this isn't the most interesting thing in the world, but you know, it beats sitting in my basement making a really crappy unboxing video. There we go, another one. We found the juice. Oh, what is this, a crappie? Oh, oh. We got a crappie. Yeah, we got, that's my first crappie of the day. We've caught a trout, some bluegills. We haven't caught a bass. The one species we're after, we haven't caught. Nice little little crappie dropped down on them. We're just in this little brush pile right now. Catching these little squeak McGee's. I know, it's not the coolest thing, but like I said, it's, it's better than sitting at home on the couch. See ya, Jimmy. Twenty minutes later. Well, folks, as you guys can see, we are at lake number three. This is a lake that I've been fishing since I was probably like 13, 14. This is where I filmed a lot of the, uh, the OG fishing with flare videos on my John boat when I was like 16. But we decided to come here because this is a bass lake. This has a ton of bass in it. They're not all very big, uh, but I wanted to catch some bass today, especially on tip ups, because that's, that's one of my favorite things to do while ice fishing. So that's what we're doing today. We've got six or seven tip ups out and we just put some minnows on them and just kind of spread them out and we're gonna see what happens. But it is my life mission for at least the rest of the day to catch a bass on a tip up oh yeah that's a fish oh yeah that's a fish oh he's gone he's not there oh we got another tip up boys it's game on he's taking it too oh no 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 you got it you got it is he there oh how how are we missing all these Oh yeah, he's on there. Got him. Oh, he dropped it. What the? He took my minner. He was there, like I felt him, he dropped it. Oh, he's there. We got another flag, fourth, fourth or fifth flag. Come on, get this one. Get it, baby. Yes, we got him. We actually got a fish on a tip up. Come on, come on. 
Oh, easy. Nice and easy, nice and easy. No bad one. Nice head shakes. Yeah, baby, we got a pass. Oh, heck yeah, that's what we've been looking for this whole time. A little bass like that. There she goes. Nice work. First one on a tip up. We've uh, we've missed like three or four so far. We got one. We got one. It's on now. These flags are going crazy. Still there? No. Oh. Oh. We got a flag. Yep. He's there. He's there. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yes. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. Come on. Don't come off. Yeah, baby, we got a bass. Oh, I've never been so excited to catch a 12 inch bass in my life. Yes, finally, we got a large mouth. So we got the first bass for me of the day on the tip up on the minnow. This is what I came here for. This thing's probably 11, 12 inches, but, but it makes me excited because I'm a bass fisherman. I love catching bass. I've never been so excited to catch a small bass like this in my life, but but we're hopefully we're gonna catch some more. Cause we got, I got like maybe 30, 40 minutes left before I gotta take off. Let's put this ba guy back in the water and try to catch another one. I don't know if he's there anymore. Oh, I think he's still taking it. Yep, got him. Yes. Come on, come on. You got another bass, I think. Yeah, buddy. Let's Woo! Smoked him. There we go. That's that's what we want right there. I've got to leave because I got a lot of stuff to do tonight. But we're gonna end end it on a good note. Catching these little little chunk bass. Like I said, they're not big, but hey, I'll take it. It's always fun to catch bass, especially on tip ups. I talked about this in my other video, but catching them on tip ups is pretty fun, just because you get to feel them fight in your hands, and it's not it's not like you're fighting them with a rod. You get to feel the tug a little bit more. It's it's one of my favorite ways to catch them ice fishing. See you later, Marcus.